Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to install Pluto's new homebrew entry point called Freaky Hacks. So, this is an exploit for the game called Freaky Forms Deluxe. I already have this on my 3DS. If you don't have it, then you're going to need to either download it from the eShop, or you're going to need to get a cartridge of it at the store. So, you're going to need a recent version, such as 11.0.0, as of writing this, because other versions might be supported eventually. And eventually, Japanese is probably going to be supported too. So, to install this, it's not too hard. You're going to need to get the latest version of Freaky Hacks by clicking on this. And it'll bring you to this. And you're going to need to download this just by clicking on it. There will probably be later versions of this too, because I'm doing this like right when it came out, like 19 minutes after it came out. So, yeah. And then you're going to need to put that on the root of your SD card. So I'll just, I'll do that after. But now we're going to need to get the other app payload for your 3DS's firmware from the homebrew launcher. So scroll down until you see other app slash rop bin payloads. So choose what, choose the one that you want. I'm old, 11, 0, 0, and then 33, and USA. So I'm gonna do download other app. So, I already have it downloaded, so I'll just delete this one. And yeah, so that's that. So we're going to need to name this to um, otherapp.bin. So just like that. And now we're going to need to get the homebrew launcher. So I'm going to click here and just download it. You can either download the starter kit or just the executable. I'll get the entire starter kit just to make it like complete. And so that's done. So now we need to just put everything on our SD card and extract it. So I'll insert that in now. Okay, so I just inserted it. So now we've got all of these files. So I'm gonna like show you how to place them. So we're gonna extract them, the freaky hacks. Just how you normally would. And then it'll create a folder, go inside of it choose the one that you want. I'm old USA. And then we're going to go inside exploit and we're going to copy this to the root of our SD card. Because you might already have a DCIM folder so you might have been able to guess that. You're going to merge the two folders together. So um, yeah so that's how you put this on. Now we need to copy the other app.bin to the root of our SD card so let's do that. And that's done. So now we need to extract the starter kit and paste that on there. This is a pretty big file for some people, so it might take a little while. And we're going to copy both of these files and paste them on here. So I already have most of them, so it's just going to replace them. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm going to eject my SD card and I'll meet you on my 3DS. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the game on my 3DS's home menu because I'm using a eShop version of it, but you can use a cartridge as well. So I'm just going to start the game. Okay, so now we're going to go to the bottom screen, okay, and we're going to click here, and it'll tell you all this stuff. Okay, give your planet a name. We're going to name the planet A, and confirm, and yes, so it's saving it. Now we're going to create five formies, so we're going to go here, create formy, and close. And we're going to, we're going to use like not too much effort, because we're just going to like kind of throw these together. And this does get annoying after a while, because like it gives you all of this stuff that like we don't care about. Like, all you got to do is drag some stuff around the screen. So... 
Come on. Okay. Head. Eye. Oh my god. I don't care. So yeah, this game does get annoying after a while because it keep it treats us like little kids. Because this game kind of is for little kids. So it keeps giving us like all of this stuff. Like, yeah, you can see why this gets annoying. It does this every time you create another one. Okay, done. No. Okay, so we're gonna name it A again and confirm. And we're going to name the- we're going to put the favorite phrase as A as well. This is used to trigger the exploit later, I think. I mean, I'm not sure about it, but I think that's why. Because he specifically told us to name it A. And now it's just going to give you a bunch of this stuff. So I'll just zoom out the camera a little bit. Because you kind of need to see both screens. Okay, he's going to be talking to us for a while now. Okay, so now we gotta go get the key, so just like jump over to it and stuff. And go to the treasure chest and put it in. No, we do not want to change it, so select the X. Now we gotta go get this mushroom. Oh my god. I know, like, how to do this, because I've already, like, played- I, I haven't played the game, I hate this game, but I've already installed it on another 3DS, so... That's how I know, like, what to do and stuff. Okay, so we gotta go pick that egg up now. Okay, so we got the mushroom. Okay, we just picked up the rainbow egg. And we're just gonna hit confirm. And we're gonna hit leave. Because we want to get out of this as soon as possible. Okay, so, I'm just gonna do this one. So we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna create another one. And again, it's gonna give us this long intro and stuff. We're gonna all, we're gonna name this one A as well, and we're gonna set the f the favorite phrase to A, and confirm, and it'll save it again. 
So now we've just got to like complete this little thing. Doesn't take as long as the other one. And once you get that key, you just got to open up the treasure chest. No, we do not want to change it. And now we're going to hit leave. And we're not going to break any eggs. And now we're going to create another one. We're going to name this one A as well. We're going to set the favorite phrase to A. And confirm, and it'll save it. And almost immediately you can hit the leave button, so we're going to leave. And we're going to do the same thing again, like just a couple more times. Okay, so now it'll say like something's happening and some stupid shit will happen. Okay, so now we need to remove all five of the ones that we just made. So we're going to go to collection, my formies, and we're going to hit goodbye, yes, and goodbye, yes, to all of them, so. And now we have none of them, so we're going to go back, and we're going to go back to the home menu, and we're going to close out of this. And we're going to go to the system settings. So we need to change the date one day forward. So date and time. Today's date. And I don't know why it says that, but we'll just change that day up one. So there we go. So we're going to go back. We're going to close out of that. And now we're going to go back into the game again. So what changing the date did was it allowed us to get one of our like flummy hearts back. So now we're able to create another one. And unlocking that camera function. So we're going to hit create. Create one. And we're going to do the same thing we did last time. And the favorite phrase is going to be A as well. And confirm. So now we're going to hit leave. Yes. And we're going to go back all the way. And now we're going to restart the game, so I'll go to my home menu and close out of the game. And now we're going to go into the game, and it should load. Now we're going to go into, we're going to go to play, camera, and then load a QR code, I mean, because this will load it from the SD card. 
and it'll update some stuff. And we're going to select the one, this one, and we're going to hit confirm. Okay, so now it'll load the home launcher, so... There you, there you have it. All of the homebrew applications are on here and they should work just fine. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for videos, tutorials, and other stuff, and I'll see you later.